My name is Ben Goodman, I'm a sub-agent for BAM Nuttall. Uh, we're the main contractor on the uh, new Medway Valley Crossing project. Stood just by the uh, west bank of the River Medway, um, which behind me you can see the new bridge being constructed. So the bridge is being constructed for a new housing development, which is on the east bank of the river. It's approximately a thousand new homes. We need to improve the infrastructure, so that's why we're building a new river bridge, and then later on in the project a new railway bridge as well. The temporary works element of this project is critical to its success. Um, it's been a combination of factors uh, between Bam Nuttall Temporary Works at Camberley and RMD Quickform. Um, we've gained access into the river via two temporary jetties from the east and the west bank. Uh, then we've constructed two coffer dams to construct the, the bridge piers. Um, then we've got a system of temporary steel tubular piles to support a steel beam grillage, which then supports the RMD rapid shore system up to U-head and primary and secondary level to support the actual bridge deck itself. The legs have been designed to land absolutely straight onto the jetty beams. With such high leg loads, bracing is a critical factor. But even then, we've managed to put a totally clear bay all the way through the birdcage such that access is not impeded at all. The leg loads are accommodated straight onto the beams and access way is always provided. So the River Medway is still an active working river, therefore we have to maintain a navigable channel. Um, the navigable channel is probably about 30 metres in, in width um, with an air draft as well. Um, so in order to maintain that throughout the 18 month project, uh, we employed the use of the R700 beam system. Um, that's supported off a Megashore Towers either side of the river. Here we are at the business end of the navigation channel. This is where the loads generated come through the trusses, through the triweb beams, into the Megashore Towers, down through the special steel beams and away into the piles. So great are the loads generated that Megashore is the only effective solution that would work here. The R700 trusses are loaded onto these triweb beams at the far end. Then, thanks to a specially designed sledge and the chains, a pulley mechanism will slide them along the triweb from the far end of the triweb all the way to the end. They're loaded one followed by another such that sequentially we end up having full seven over the clear span in exactly the right positions. So the jetties were sized to accommodate the 110 ton crawler crane which was sized to lift in the R700 truss beams. Uh, in order to size that crane correctly and economically, we had to have an iterative approach between the two design teams, both BAM Nuttall in Camberley and the RMD Quickform. The centre span is made up of seven truss members. We've already installed six of the truss members and slid them across on the triweb beam. The construction design of this, this bridge uh, has involved a variety of RMD Quickform systems, from the heavy duty clear spanning and the mega shore support to the conventional birdcage from the rapid shore. All of these things together have actually been designed in very close collaboration with BAM Nuttles in order to ensure the most straightforward and efficient and user-friendly method of erection because with so many different systems, the absolute paramount has been the safety of construction, especially working over Kent's biggest river.